What's going on, guys? It's Toxic Open Spaces. We're back with a brand new tutorial. Um, for this one, we'll be focusing on how to add a custom font to your plain Jane theme um, to further customize your stores. All right. Um, it's super easy, super simple, um, and it doesn't matter what version of plain Jane you have. You can have plain Jane. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Let me take that back. Um, plain Jane 2.0 and plain Jane Interactive can add custom fonts, but plain Jane Starter cannot. So you have plain Jane starter, you're going, to, you're going to make sure to upgrade before you start this video. Um, if you have plain Jane 2.0 or interactive, you can just follow along. All right. So before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and let's jump straight into it. All right. So we're going to be changing the fonts um, to change the fonts in plain Jane. What you're going to want to do is by now you should know how to get to your customizer. Um, and what you want to do is you're going to want to go to this theme settings cog right here on the left hand side. You click that and then click on typography and click that drop down. This controls all of the fonts over the entire store, basically. All right. So we have our um, default spaces font. Or actually, let me scroll up. We have our enter page fonts here. We have interactive spaces fonts. It's, if you have interactive, you'll see this. If you have 2.0, you won't see this. We have our countdown fonts for the countdown timer on the password page. Our header fonts, these are for the titles and headings throughout the store. And then we have the paragraph fonts, which is predominantly the majority of the text throughout the store. All right, so this right here is gonna control a lot. All right, so, and then we have the button fonts, which is mainly here, as you can see on the product page. So to add a custom one, let's uh, let's focus on this header font here. We'll change this product one right here to a different font other than uh, in Consolata. OK, so to enable custom fonts, you're going to click this check mark and then we're going to need to add um, a font name and custom font URL. Um, to these fields here, so name here, URL here. So first we're going to have to get a custom font. So to do that, um, I recommend going to defont.com, D-A font.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it's a great site for getting free fonts. Um, most of you probably have heard of this or used it by now. It's super popular. Um, you have different, you have tons of different types of fonts you can look at. You have Gothic base, basic script, dingbats, fancy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, for our purposes today, we're going to be taking a look at Superfresh. All right, super fresh. So I already downloaded this font and um, we're going to open it up really quick because I need to show you guys something, something very important to take note of. We have right here. So this is how our font looks um, when we have it downloaded. And notice it's a TTF file. All right, TTF. So, oops, whoopsie. I'm trying to go back. So with a TTF file, um, well, the most common font files are TTF and OTF. You know, most of the files you can download from defont.com or anywhere else, they're gonna probably give you TTF or OTF. Um, these files are usually used in Photoshop, Illustrator, um, softwares like that. Uh, but for our purposes, we need it to be in the WAF file format. And WAF is a file format that's specifically used for websites, okay? So you're going to want to convert your file from TTF to an OTF. I mean, not to an OTF, to a WAF. TTF or OTF to WAF, okay? So a good way to do that is you can go to cloudconvert.com. Let me refresh this here. Uh, yeah, so cloudconvert.com. Um, or you can go to Google and just type in, uh, you know, TTF to WAF or OTF to WAF converter and something will pop up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload it. I've already done it here, but I'll just go through it again. Just so you guys can see how it looks. You're going to click add files. You're going to click on your TTF file here. Superfresh.ttf. Open. And then you can choose what to um, convert it to. So you can do WAF or WAF2. It doesn't matter if you do WAF or WAF2. It's the, you know, same result. I'll just do WAF2, convert. You're going to wait for that to happen, and then that easy, just download it, okay? So once you have your font in the WAF format, 
we're going to go back to our store over here. Um, but actually, we need to go to the main panel. So once you're here at this main panel, you're going to want to go to content and then go to files. OK, and then we're going to want to go to this upload files in the top right and we're going to upload our super fresh WAF file, this WAF2 file here. So open, wait for that to upload. Cool. Now we're going to copy this link. And then we're going to go back to our customizer. And then for custom font URL, we're going to paste that link in right here. And then for font name, we're going to just type the name of the font, just super fresh. And boom, look at that. If you look at product one, it's changed to our super fresh font. If you want to see the before and after, you can just check and uncheck this enable custom font. Before and now after. So, and you can go through all of the settings here and put your, your own custom font for all of it if you want. I honestly wouldn't recommend doing too many fonts. If anything, the you know what I recommend is doing two to three maximum. Um, if you have like five or six different fonts for each thing, you know, there's going to be no consistency with your website. It's going to look kind of all over the place design wise and it'll probably turn off some customers. All right. But for most people, I'd recommend really a solid two, you know, one for maybe titles and then one for um, well, one for titles and buttons and then one for all the other text like paragraph text. Um, if you use a third one, you know. It just depends. Maybe for the enter screen page, you might want that. Or for some kind of menu page, you might want that. Let me show an example. Like since we're in interactive, you know, maybe you want this this section here to be a different font compared to everything else. That's where I would use maybe a third font. Um, outside of that, I really don't recommend it for most people because it's probably going to make your site look a little crazy. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Is is really that simple? Really that simple. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, you know, leave a comment in the description below. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, that's about it, guys. Peace.